we, the people and the towns of this country that lie on the old railway line from Mombasa to Kampala, Naivasha, Nakuru, Eldoret, Tarbo, Webuye, Bungoma, and Malaba are completely dissatisfied with the manner in which the planned extension of the SGR is being executed. We demand, as of right, that the SGR line to Uganda must take the old route so that it continues bolstering the economies of these towns along the way that were highly dependent on their growth on the presence of the rail line. The marginalization of these regions appears to be calculated and deliberate. And the people have seen the youths are up in arms and have set up a resistance force on the social media. And I have no doubt that they are right, that we want to see that the old route of the SGR is followed. Number three, the loans that the president has gone to sign to in China, over 350 billion, must also be put in the context of our ballooning public debt. What security are we giving the Chinese? What are the consequences of default? And how come that in comparable jurisdictions, a standard gauge rail line is costing an average of $3 million per kilometer and they're acquiring electric rails when in Kenya it is costing an average of $8 million, meaning 800 million Kenya shillings per kilometer. Something is not adding up. And if this is going to be another gravy train where people are hooking in their siphons, to fret away public resources for the public to pay, it is unacceptable. And as a responsible opposition, we want to voice our regret and our disgust at these ongoings. Already there is a serious question about a road in Mombasa called Dongokundu Bypass. A road that is 17 kilometers has been undertaken to be constructed at a cost of 17 billion, meaning we are constructing a road at an average cost of a billion per kilometer. Even if you are constructing a golden road, I don't think it can cost that much. So, President Uhuru, we have told you we support you fully in your war against corruption. But this war doesn't have to be simply a war of threats, of averments, and a war of words. We want to see a war of action, to see a reduction in the manner in which public resources are expended so that this economy can benefit from the borrowing that we are taking. Borrowing per se is not a problem, but when you borrow to a level where you cannot sustain your public debt, when you borrow to an extent where everybody can see that we are borrowing to line other people's pockets, then the public has a right to resist and to voice opposition.